Hi, my name's Stephen. I'm a self-confessed social media person and I have a habit of telling stories. A few months back, I had the misfortune to become homeless, a pattern in my life I wanted to break. However, I landed on my feet this time. I joined Emmaus as a companion. That's what they call the residents who live and work together in one of the 20 communities around the UK, which is part of the international Emmaus movement. I spent a little time with them to get back on my feet, and now I use my time to help promote the good work they do, and as an ex-companion, I want to give back to them as a way of saying thanks for all their help. I was recently invited to the Emmaus UK Assembly, where the Emmaus staff, companions and associates are invited to find out what's happening around the UK. I also met Terry Waite, the ex-hostage and the president of Emmaus UK. I borrowed him for a quick interview and asked him about his work with Emmaus. Hello, this is Terry Waite speaking from Swannington Dutch. Why did Emmaus pick you as their president? Um, I think I was asked to be president of Emmaus because I myself had been through uh, difficult experiences as a hostage. I knew what it was to be uh, deprived of uh, my rights and my freedom. And many people who are homeless and who had no a place to go for years, uh, find a similar experience. So it was felt that I might understand something about the position many homeless people find themselves in. Do you think you personally would have been here 20 years ago? I think I might have been, yes, because all my life I've been concerned with people who have limited opportunities in life. Uh, you know, the deprived and the poor. And so I spent most of my life in that sort of area, and uh, so I may well have been. Is it ever too late, or can you ever be too old to help a mayor? No one is too old uh, to help a mayor. There are all sorts of ways in which you can help. Um, from the very simplest, by donating something that could be resold or recycled by a mayor by being a trustee of an Emmaus community and helping with the organisation and administration. Um, there are all sorts of ways by uh, engaging in fundraising so that we can build new communities. Although each community eventually will become self-supporting, we still need funds to get new communities going. So I would really urge anyone who's watching this to look at the Emmaus site in detail and to see if there's some way in which you can uh, join me and others in supporting this most worthwhile cause. How come Emmaus works where similar charities to support homeless people by giving them a roof and a job? How does Emmaus work and they don't? Well, Emmaus, there are many, many organisations that are concerned with shelter, They're giving people a home, uh, perhaps just for a night or just for a, a day in some instances or giving a meal. That's one thing. But what really is needed is to enable people to get back into mainstream life. In other words, rehabilitation. And that is very, very difficult. It's often a lengthy process and very, very few organizations do that. Emmaus has now been in existence in the United Kingdom for 20 years. And I see that we've got another 20 communities coming along. We have 20 communities around the country functioning and another 20 in process of development. And so we'll be able to accommodate uh, some 200 more people very shortly. That's um, not a large number, but when you think that uh, that is uh, in all we should be really working with well over a thousand people every year getting them back into life that's quite something.